this is a little bit of silliness actually, but I have downloaded and installed Sunto Link, the new program which was already used for the Kailash and is still being used for the Kailash and is now also for the Spartan Ultra and well all of the Spartan line. I have installed it on my old Sony Vario P, so this is probably going to take quite some time to do anything here. It's a bit of a silliness, but I want to try it anyways. Just to start giving you an impression of what this looks like in back. So you have the pins there and the ridges where the magnet attaches. You just slide that where it needs to be so it attaches. If you can still use the watch and recharge it, well, if you can still use the watch while you are recharging it, I'm not entirely sure, but we'll see about it. I mean, how to wear it then? I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll find out. And it has been recognized. Sunto Link is telling me it's connected to Sunto Spartan Ultra, which is charging. No, it's not? Okay. And it would like me to connect the moves count and to update. Um, now I'm going to update anyways. I will connect later, since it doesn't so much matter. I hope it works even on this slow, slow, slow notebook. Of course, now I will have to do the setup again, but this is not going to be much the matter to me. One thing I need to point out is that this is now connected to a testing server, not the official production one. So the firmware is also a different one. You probably don't get quite this version number yet. Don't fret it. You will get it soon enough when we have found out that it is actually working as it should. So... Slowly, slowly, I think it is loading. You can see a progress bar here. Just does take its time, of course. And like I said, on this notebook especially. <laughs> Some people also had some issues with the updating and with the Sunto link and all that. I'm sure there are a few bugs to still get out and at the same time some combinations of software and hardware and programs seem to cause issues anyways. Here for example something about the USB connection still seems to not be quite as it should be. It doesn't always work yet. For example, usual problems are when you have the watch connected to a USB hub, when it's a hub with other USB um, devices being plugged in at the same time, that sort of thing tends to cause some problems anyways. Many devices will tell you, or at least I've seen it more often, not to plug them into a USB hub, but to plug them into USB ports directly. This is what I have done on this device, on this notebook. But uh, it's also a good case for sort of minimalism anyways, because even one program is going to be a bit much for the VIOP I'm using there, but it's just a nice, well, typewriter and travel device. So I like to check out if it still does anything. I'm not sure how good you can see it, but I think quite well. So you can see the progress bar here. 
and you actually have a progress indication in the image here as well. So something like one third is done. It's recognizable in that circle and in the progress bar. That the way this looks is really nice. I mean, of course, it's just a simple touch and it's much more frustrating if it doesn't work than it is nice when it does work. But, well, when it works, it is nice. Maybe I should even take this waiting time to point out that on the Spartan Ultra, you can very much see the design language of apparently a new Sunto designer who also made the Kailash. The bezel has become a bit smaller. There are no more screws anywhere on the Spartan Ultra, so one wonders how it actually is put together, but I'm sure not going to take it apart. But the strap, the wrist, whoops, can't see it there anymore. The wrist strap especially is a very, very similar design attached from the side somehow in a way so that you definitely can't exchange it easily. But, well, it's a very comfortable silicone strap. On the Kailash, I've seen some parts there where I always rub somewhere and where it does, it does look used like that, but otherwise I've now had the Kailash for 10 months, I think, something like that. And it is not showing any issues. And we are getting close to finishing. At least with the download of the new firmware. Mm -hmm. Next step. It's become a lot like a little wrist stop computer as Sunto spoke of their devices for a while. Needs its time to update, has a complicated firmware and still needs or will probably get a few updates. Judging by the list Sunto has made on the survey to make the Spartan stronger with lots of suggestions and asking us, the customers, what we want, it might be possible to make the Spartan a whole lot stronger. We'll just have to wait and see what they do. The September update is going to be interesting and then who knows what's next. And how long there can be more. And that's a bit of a question right now after the bad experiences with the first Ambit and the fast switch to the Ambit 2, but let's hope this is not what is going to happen here. Okay, and we are restarting, really now. And of course, like I said, now I have to go through the setup again since I did not connect it to moves count. Data is or should be um, saved to moves count by now and synced automatically as long as you are connected, but I hadn't connected yet. So, this again, and this time I am going to connect. Moves count, well, connect the watch to moves count, but I don't want you to know my password, especially not for a testing server.